Uh, so today we are going to take up an, a new topic you know, which is known as you know, delay uh, testing. So uh, if you have an, a combinational logic, there could be certain inputs and there could be uh, one or more uh, outputs available here. And whenever there is a uh, change in the input, okay. So whenever the, the input changes, you know, either from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0, uh, one input changes or, or more than one input changes, okay. Uh, the in between there would be some you know, uh, uh, intermittent uh, changes from 0 to 1 at the output okay because there could be you know, uh, uh, different delays in, uh, in the various paths associated in the combinational logic uh, so uh, here uh, you, know, you will get some you know, uh, junk data and finally the output will yeah. go and uh, get settled right so uh, it is not that you, know, you give some input data uh, and the final data would come in one go so uh, because the delays in different paths okay the number of gates uh, uh, which is encountered in different paths uh, could be different and hence uh, in between that is known as the transient region in which you could see some uh, switching at the uh, output okay uh, so uh, what uh, delay testing what we uh, uh, are supposed to do is and we are not really bothered about what happens in the transient case once we give uh, uh, so uh, in the delay fault uh, obviously you have you should have two set of test vectors right uh, because this is not any static analysis we want to see uh, how much time uh, does this combinational logic uh, take uh, in when a fresh input is given uh, the uh, how much time does it take for the uh, for that uh, fresh input to be processed and a final output to get stabilized okay so when we are uh, giving a uh, fresh input out here uh, the, so there will be some transients out here and finally the final output will be here so so you require two test uh, vectors so first test vector is given right and you allow the combinational logic to settle down and then the second test vector is given so after giving the uh, second test vector right you wait for a clock period and then see whether the output is a uh, stable uh, whatever is the output now if it is as per the uh, no, desired logic right and if it is you know, uh, if there is more delay uh, the, uh, in this particular combinational logic because of some fault uh, and that delay uh, crosses the clock, clock period then uh, we will be able to detect uh, faults right so uh, as long as there is there are small delays you know, uh, and within the clock period uh, it really doesn't matter okay so the delay testing is all about right uh, we are not really wanting to check when this signal is coming here at the output okay that is not the purpose of the uh, uh, delay fault right we are not trying to find out that there will be uh, the total delay permitted is 10 nanosecond uh, whether it is you know, uh, i am not trying to measure whether it is 8 nanosecond 7 nanosecond no uh, that is not what uh, we are going we are going to give an first initial test vector change the test vector okay the moment i change uh, i call it as zero right zero time and then I am going to sample the output, okay, uh, maybe through a flip flop at t is equal to uh, no, corresponding to the clock period. So, already it has been designed for a certain clock period, right. So, at, uh, after, the, when, uh, after the clock period, I am going to sample the data and check whether I am getting the correct data, right. So, uh, that is what uh, delay uh, no, uh, fault is or uh, testing is all about okay so uh, there could be certain uh, critical paths there critical paths is the longest period path and obviously the clock period um, has to cater even for the uh, critical path so the clock period will be more than the critical part so and there could be several uh, paths okay so each of those for each of those paths uh, the requirement of uh, initial vector and the uh, no, test vector there will be two test vectors one one is the initial test vector and then the actual test vector uh, both of them for each of the path will be uh, different so that uh, like it, it like in a combinational logic uh, we have sensitization and, and justification and propagation a similar thing uh, we'll have to do for the delay fault also okay uh, so uh, this is what is uh, important okay we are not uh, absolute time of arrival of the output data is not a uh, measuring of absolute uh, time for arrival of the output data is not our concern okay in testing we are just uh, ensuring that the correct output is available uh, after one clock period okay so this is known as delay fault now uh, if you see uh, this particular uh, circuit so uh, this is the uh, critical path 
okay now uh, uh, each of these uh, gates uh, uh, will have certain delays so the, the gate delays are mentioned here it is uh, 2 uh, 1 3 right a a and 1 now uh, if i take uh, this particular uh, path okay uh, so now if i uh, make a uh, transition out here okay so uh, this has to go uh, through this or gate through this inverter uh, through this or gate so 2 plus 3 plus 1 uh, 6 right so uh, whenever i uh, do a, a change uh, input change out here after 6 only i will see whether what is the output available okay for whichever path because uh, i am going to uh, set my uh, time period as you know, 6 or more right uh, because the critical path so all the testing will be uh, focused once i uh, give a new test vector initial test vector followed by a new test vector then i will wait for you know, uh, 6 nano uh, 6 6 units of time okay and it, it will be because 2 plus 3 and and then see what is the final output so for each of these paths i will do the testing uh, after 6 units of uh, time okay and if it is working fine then i say okay this circuit is uh, good enough okay. so um, uh, let's uh, uh, take uh, uh, one particular uh, case uh, here right so uh, uh, this uh, i i have to find out now uh, here uh, we say there are uh, several paths okay so one path is this p1 okay from here uh, it, it's going from here uh, here right and the other path is from uh, b e j uh, to k the third uh, path could be from uh, c e uh, here okay there could be uh, one right p1 is like this p2 is an, uh, from here like this no, uh, p3 is from uh, uh, no, uh, this right there could be one more uh, no, from uh, c also uh, from c it can uh, go into the top from c it can come to the bottom so when we do the uh, delay faults okay uh, we don't speak in terms of and uh, the path we, we uh, speak in terms of a full path from the input to the output so uh, we will try to find out whether each of these paths uh, meet the uh, stipulated uh, time uh, stipulated time here is six uh, uh, units so e in each of these uh, paths the delay uh, should not be more than uh, six units okay so that is what the uh, testing is done right so uh, now let's uh, uh, take uh, one example out here uh suppose this this no, right you have to give no, uh, from uh, you uh, from positive to no, uh, from uh, 1 to 0 you have to give a uh, test vector right now uh, this needs to be uh, propagated till here okay so uh, what do i do so i have to give an uh, zero out here at c right so this is making a transition here so uh, this will trigger an, a similar uh, transition out here correct because this is an uh, or gate uh, and then uh, uh, here also it will be uh, available okay it, it is making an uh, 1 to 0 uh, so uh, here okay uh, either initially itself you, know, uh, you give an, an uh, 1 or you could uh, make an uh, transition okay from uh, 0 to 1 here because uh, this is an or gate uh, finally i want a 0 out here because so so that this transition again gets reflected as uh, you know, 0 to 1 out here and this gets passed here right so after uh, uh, six delays uh, i have to get a one out here right so that is what the testing so i can now say uh, if i am getting this one out here after uh, six uh, units of uh, delay uh, i can say okay uh, this particular path right uh, is uh, fault free right and, and in this path the falling edges uh, no, uh, no, uh, are fault free and what are the uh, test vectors associated with that uh, here right uh, it, it is first in a uh, 0 1 0 uh, you have to give 0 uh, 1 uh, 0 right or, or it could be uh, 1 also okay and that doesn't matter uh, but and this is and and the next test vector uh, has to be uh, 1 0 uh, 1 right for for this two uh, is there any uh, error uh, here test vector 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 C should be zero. Uh, this should be uh, uh, zero, right? Okay, I think. Uh, one uh, zero uh, zero, right? Okay.
So this is the uh, test vector uh, for this path. Okay. If we'll give sir zero zero triple zero then. Ah, uh, pardon. Ah, uh, here. Yes. No. Ah, uh, you have to. A. No. Uh, a a a should be zero. Then also will be zero. Then na h should be h will be zero. Ah uh, yes. Ah uh, uh, here right uh, here. Na yes. you need. Uh, can, uh, can we can we one R one so. Zero a, also one also. Yeah yes. This can be ah uh, zero also. Right, so there are uh, some uh, definitions out here. Okay, uh, one is known as the uh, path delay uh, fault. Okay, so uh, the delay fault in a circuit is assumed to cause a uh, cumulative uh, delay. Right, so uh, it is not that we speak uh, delays uh, in terms of gates. Okay, it is the full path. Full path we we only call a path delay. Okay, so uh, there there could be several paths here. Right, so this is one from gate one, and this is one path from B. Uh, there are ana uh, two parts so three parts and and the uh, from c also there could be a uh, two parts so this particular uh, circuits has got an p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 so there are uh, five paths in this circuit right when we did if you remember when we did a uh, stuck at faults uh, we said ana uh, uh, those many ana uh, uh, fault locations are there and each of the in each of those locations there could be stuck at 0 and stuck at 1 uh, here Uh, we don't uh, uh, say that when we are talking about an uh, uh, a path delay we say there are total an uh, one two an uh, three four five paths are there in this circuit and in each path okay there could be an rising delay and an uh, falling delay so a uh, five into two so 10 an uh, test conditions are are to be checked okay so so uh, that is what and and for each of those uh, 10 conditions okay we are not uh, trying to find out what is the actual delay so within specified time the uh, exact output should be available okay so that is the uh, a mm, and now uh, uh, that was a robust test okay which we saw here okay uh, because uh, suppose you uh, know uh, uh, this is this particular transition is getting you uh, know uh, delayed okay let me uh, Uh, suppose uh, this is uh, uh, going uh, low uh, 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 after a certain time here like this right but uh, so uh, that will not actually uh, make any uh, 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 error in 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 our uh, uh, solution in this particular path okay so any uh, uh, additional suppose there is an uh, additional this, this is going uh, low uh, additionally so that is not going to make any uh, difference so what happens is uh, this signal is going to uh, 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 come slightly uh, uh, later but i am checking for na uh, uh, one uh, out here right so, uh, so so in that case so uh, this uh, delay, uh, delay uh, of this path okay is not adversely affecting uh, my test path okay uh, but that the, that is known as uh, that path is known as robust path okay now we'll see some examples then it will be uh, clear so in non robust an, uh, path okay uh, the uh, delays okay uh, the delays can be you know, that was a non robust path uh, example yeah so in a, a non robust path okay the delays in the other path okay the delays in the other path uh, can cause an uh, a problem right okay uh, so it, it is not only i uh, know uh, defined by this only one uh, uh, path there could this this signal out here also you uh, know uh, will make a change here also it will make a change in in many cases you can't uh, uh, propagate the fault just in one path okay so there will be an alternate path also which will uh, have certain you uh, know uh, switching activity like if, if i uh, put an uh, zero here in my uh, initial case okay i can uh, if i put a static zero here right so i can straight away uh, remove this and and this becomes an a robust path right here in the first example uh, if i uh, put this as zero okay static zero initially itself so this will be always be a zero here so uh, this is a robust path okay the, so so any you know problem out here now uh, or doesn't really uh, affect this circuit circuit but i will see a different uh, scenario where you know, uh, there could be a non robust path okay so the example is uh, given probably in the uh, next uh, slide here here right so uh, in this case if you uh, see here this is an uh, a which is making an uh, transition here so uh, here uh, uh, 
this example which we saw okay so this is an a robust path okay um, if i am giving a static zero here so this is zero here only so uh, this is also static zero so whatever is here so there is an a single path okay everything is moving in the single path no other uh, path is going to uh, affect here but let let's uh, take uh, this particular case okay uh, uh, in this case now now i am making an uh, transition here and i am uh, going to uh, make an uh, uh, try trying uh, no, uh, try to find out uh, what is uh, this delay so uh, finally uh, when i am giving a one here and uh, i am uh, expect to uh, to get uh, a zero out here right but when i am uh, making an uh, uh, transition uh, here right i am checking uh, uh, this particular uh, path but if this particular path okay this uh, 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 from here this zero is going to uh, 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 making uh, going to make an uh, one out here right so in this path uh, if the fall delay okay uh, is uh, uh, more more than uh, uh, you could land up in a situation like this c is going and uh, 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 one after the time period because uh, uh, we are not totally isolating so there is a uh, transition which is uh, uh, happening uh, here also correct so so because of uh, 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 this transition right so this path is not completely uh, isolated okay because you see here this is there is a transition coming here also there is a transition uh, coming uh, here also so both the nodes are uh, getting transition so if there are certain uh, delays out here right so i, I can't say you know, okay so that can uh, stretch this you know, one beyond the time period so when i'm uh, measuring after the clock period so there is a possibility that c is uh, still one okay because of fault uh, in this path okay so so that is why that is known as non robust so so in many uh, circuits as we uh, see uh, some of the paths may not be you know, robust okay if it is a robust path then uh, robust path means like this right all other there is no transition only transition in the in in our path okay uh, whereas in a non robust path and you will have a uh, multiple uh, if, if suppose there here here also there is a if there is a transition then obviously this will become an, a non robust path so certain circuits will have that kind of uh, uh, issues like we see here and 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 that can cause an uh, uh, so uh, that for for those tests we cannot be very very uh, 100% sure that what we are uh, uh, measuring is, is the correct uh, or it has got an uh, uh, affected by an alternate path okay uh, but nevertheless uh, 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 we can do a test and if you are getting the current uh, correct results it's okay right so uh, this is again a uh, uh, robust path uh, uh, definition uh, like for an and gate uh, uh, right and uh, this has to be static one okay uh, this has to be a uh, static one uh, static one okay uh, if it is a uh, uh, static one then uh, and and an uh, uh, input out here transition will be uh, available at the output okay so uh, so but but then uh, <coughs> Uh, uh, right uh, so so uh, this 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 will give me a uh, robust testing similarly for an uh, or gate uh, these have to be uh, zeros and uh, again uh, now if you see here uh, this is making a transition from 0 to 1 and uh, this is making again an uh, 1 to 0 right so uh, if it is making a transition of 1 to 0 uh, for a, uh, and gate again uh, you are uh, giving uh, these as an uh, uh, 1 1 right uh, okay uh, let me introduce uh, some new uh, definitions out here okay uh, uh, what uh, s1 means it is static one okay it is static one okay uh, f0 means it is making a fall to zero okay uh, r1 means it is uh, making a transition to uh, one uh, u1 means okay uh, 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 finally it is one before that uh, uh, there could be some uh, changes in that right it could uh, here it is don't care condition and then finally it is uh, coming as an uh, one here so this is known as an uh, u1 u1 okay that is uh, notated as a uh, u1 right so uh, uh, this is the uh, final uh, output so uh, v1 and and v2 so this is uh, just a normal uh, notations so uh, r1 f0 u1 okay so these are the uh, notations and s0 means static zero static zero okay uh, u means uh, initially uh, it's unknown but finally it is a uh, uh, zero okay so so uh, this is what for this to be uh, uh, transmitted here okay uh, initially it could be zero 
uh, and then uh, uh, finally it uh, needs to be uh, zero out here. So, so this is known as the uh, uh, these are the conditions for a robust uh, uh, part delay. Now, uh, uh, like we saw D algebra, uh, uh, similarly uh, we have something known as phi valued algebra for part delays. Okay. Uh, so, uh, here also now if you see here uh, the new uh, functions which have been uh, 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 defined out here. Uh, S0 means in a static 0, a steady 0 okay? and S1 means steady 1 okay? without any uh, glitch. Okay? Uh, V1 and V2 are the uh, vectors, okay? the first vector and the uh, second vector. Uh, U0 means uh, initially this is the U0, right? there could be some uh, 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 unspecified initial values, but finally it is 0. Right. Uh, U1 means again uh, initially there could be uh, uh, some transitions, finally it is 1. Okay. So, now if you see here, uh, uh, the, this is the truth table, if it is uh, for an AND gate, if S0 is 0, right, then uh, uh, irrespective of uh, what is there in the second input, two input AND gate, and uh, it will be uh, S0 out here. Right. And, and uh, similarly, if it is U0, okay, U0 and uh, uh, S0 will give S0, U0 and U0 uh, will give me U0 because uh, uh, initially uh, uh, it is undefined. So, but finally both are settling to 0, so I get 0 here. <coughs> the other input is static 1, right, and, and this is uh, U0. So, when it is 1, uh, obviously it will be 1, when it is 0, it will go to 0, finally it is going to 0. So, again finally it is going to 0 uh, and then uh, initially it is undefined. So, u0 uh, and s1 will give me uh, u0, u0 and u1 again will give me uh, u0. So, initially it will be undefined and finally uh, it is this gets settled at 0, this gets settled at 1. Uh, so, I get an uh, 0 here uh, and if this is uh, unknown, right, uh, uh, does not matter. So, so you take this do not care condition also, uh, but if it is u0, finally it has to be, uh, no, it is getting settled to 0 since it is an AND gate finally uh, this also gets uh, settled to uh, 0 right so uh, then you have the uh, so it is an uh, phi valued algebra uh, no, for for a uh, delay so it is a slight, uh, slightly different from the phi uh, no, uh, valued algebra we saw for the uh, <coughs> stuck at faults okay so for uh, s1 again here uh, s1 s0 will give s0 s1 and u0 will give u0 Right, because it is undefined, uh, finally if it is 1, but uh, uh, initially undefined and finally it is going to 0. So, 1, 0 will give me 0, right? Uh, S1, S1 will give me 1, S1, U1 will give me U1 and S1 uh, and do not care will give me do not care, okay? Similarly for uh, these two. So, these are the uh, two tables now uh, for uh, AND OR AND uh, NOT, okay? So, this is known as a uh, phi valued uh, algebra, uh, something similar what we did for uh, the D algorithm. Now, uh, here, uh, now how to uh, go about using this algebra, you know, uh, how to find the uh, test vectors uh, required for you know, finding the delay. Okay? So, let us uh, first take this you know, uh, uh, for this path P3, okay? P3 is from here to here to here going like this uh, for the fall time of P3. Okay? So, for the fall time of uh, P3 at B, uh, I am going to place F0. Okay, uh, is it okay? Is the first line okay? At B, I am going to place F0. Uh, what is F0? F0 is a falling, edge, falling edge. Okay, that is represented in this algebra as F0. F0. Now this F0 needs to be uh, propagated uh, here, right? To line E. Uh, so uh, uh, so C has to be uh, uh, set to uh, uh, S0, right? Uh, sorry. C has to be uh, set to uh, S0. Right for this has to so so I set you know, C as uh, S0 and uh, uh, now uh, E will become so F0 will come here so E will become uh, uh, F0. Okay, uh, just thirty seconds. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, tell me. Yeah. 
या नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम ओके 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 थैंक थैंक्स ओके बाय बाय Uh, okay, so uh, the uh, second line is clear, right? So uh, at E, uh, we have an uh, F zero coming here. Now uh, G also is F zero. Uh, here it will be at at J it will be R one. So uh, is this okay? First three steps. How did we get an R one out here? Yes, sir. Okay. Now R one means sir. R one means R one means rising edge we will have. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, fine, sir. R1, so that's the way in the algebra it is represented. Okay, so I have an R, rising edge is known as R1. Okay, so I have uh, R1. Now uh, uh, here, okay, uh, uh, this will be uh, uh, this F0. Okay, uh, it it is an F0 out here. But for this gate, okay, uh, what I can do is uh, 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 Q is uh, fi finally it is going to go to uh, zero. Uh, initially it could be anything. Finally it is going to zero. So as far as this Uh, gate is concerned i can say finally it is going to be a uh, zero here right now uh, uh, that is available here now to propagate an uh, uh, r1 from from uh, uh, here to here uh, at h i want a zero here right uh, otherwise if there is a, a one here that could become here so if this is a uh, uh, one uh, this has to be one so uh, i need to uh, uh, set uh, h as uh, as zero right Uh, so uh, so that in uh, a k now becomes r1 uh, is this okay fifth because this rising it has to come here right so r1 is available here so this has to be uh, set as set to s0 right and for that to be uh, set as uh, a, i have to set uh, a as s0 okay so actually i don't uh, see these you know the, uh, it is the it's the same uh, Uh, circuit, uh, uh, but we will be discussing uh, different uh, uh, conditions. So these waveforms are not necessarily for the condition which is uh, discussed here. Okay, now uh, so so A needs to be uh, set to a uh, zero, right? So uh, like we did for the uh, stuckett fault, uh, 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 we uh, did a sensitization, uh, propagation, and then justification. Something very very uh, similar is done here. Okay, uh, first sensitization means you uh, uh, insert F zero. Uh, or an uh, R1, whatever the case may be, then we need to propagate it to till the output, okay? And and when we uh, propagate the output, we have to uh, see, you uh, know, what are the other uh, in the path, what are the other things, you uh, know, uh, which requires to be set accordingly. That justification will be done, okay? Once that is done, we get the uh, final vector, okay? So this is the an uh, uh, final vector. This is the uh, initial vector. So these two vectors, you uh, know, will an uh, uh, test uh, P3. a uh, falling edge okay so this is only one condition okay similarly if i take uh, one more example out here suppose i want to uh, find the uh, for this particular uh, p1 uh, i need to find the uh, uh, for the rising edge okay so i uh, put at b uh, r1 okay i i put an r1 out here right now uh, for that uh, obviously i have to put uh, c as s0 Okay, so so I am going to put a, a zero out here. Uh, so uh, this is going to be a rising edge out here now. So there is going to be R one available uh, here also. So uh, here I will get an a uh, falling uh, edge. Now uh, here I I need to uh, put this. I have to set as uh, na. Uh, uh, what do I have to set here? Uh, for this rising edge set uh, one come here yes yes one one uh, set one karna hai na then it will be r1 no uh, this r1 uh, uh, initially uh, yeah initially it was uh, uh, zero out here and now so so you can uh, set this as one okay you can uh, set this as one so this will come here right this rising edge now if you see here is this a robust path now not a robust path right uh, because uh, any uh, uh, delay uh, of this path, this i can't uh, even if i get this output i cannot be you know uh, uh, very uh, sure about that right that could you uh, uh, because there is you know, a one more you know, uh, uh, path which is you know, uh, coming uh, from here 
right so it, this is an a robust test is not possible in this particular case right because there is an uh, here if you see here uh, there is an and and this is going to uh, get uh, delayed uh, late this is supposed to na uh, arise here but uh, if this delay na uh, if there is an uh, uh, delay in this path that will affect this you know so i cannot can't say for sure if i am you know uh, getting one if, if this is delayed for some reason still i will get one here right so even if this is delay delayed beyond the uh, clock period right so there are two things which are happening out here right so so a uh, two th at, at the output right so uh, this is uh, uh, this is going you know, low whereas you know, uh, this is going you know, uh, high right so uh, so that th this output is going low now suppose for example if there is an <coughs> delay out here right and delay here also right and so after the time period this is going uh, low later on right and and this is going high after the time period but you know, i am sampling it here right still you know, there is a possibility that i miss out the fault because it is not a, a robust path right because because there is a, an alternate path uh, which is going to change the output so i, I can't be 100% sure that uh, that uh, with this test i can say that this path that there won't be any uh, na, uh, na, uh, uh, r1 uh, is being propagated properly or not in path p2 so uh, so there there remains an ambiguity here so that is the reason uh, we say the reliability of non uh, robust test is questionable you understood what is the problem here all of you yeah they saying is that okay yes sir right yes sir okay because right you say this is going to go high right but this is going to fall low so uh, uh, at time uh, uh, time t suppose i am sampling it at 5 the clock is 5 nanosecond right uh, this particular is going low at 6 nanosecond right here because there is a delay here and and this is also going you know, high at 7 nanosecond then I, I at 5 nanosecond i'll get a proper answer only right so i can't for sure say right but whereas in this particular case earlier case what we uh, saw uh, uh, where where was that uh, here in this case it is a robust path so uh, no, the fault can be diagnosed easily here you know it can't and uh, uh, there could be uh, certain uh, so in the presence of robust test some uh, uh, so th there could be some paths and the reliability of uh, in presence of robust test some paths can improve the reliability of non robust test for other paths okay so so that is the case so there could be some paths in in which uh, uh, <coughs> it is robust and there could be uh, some paths uh, which are uh, non robust okay so uh, so uh, here it's by including uh, so there are several uh, paths out here right we say uh, like i said there could be total of an uh, 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 five different uh, uh, paths which could be uh, available here and for each of those uh, uh, paths uh, uh, the more uh, robust paths are there the better it is okay so so if you say uh, or if or suppose there is an uh, uh, one path right uh, in this particular case uh, uh, let's take this example suppose uh, this particular uh, path uh, is a row if it is a robust path uh, and uh, uh, we have uh, done the test and found that uh, there is no issue in this particular path then i can say okay uh, even if it is non robust then i can say uh, this result is okay uh, is that understood and do you, are, you, are you in agreement uh, gokhale jay singh to kirti here i see there are two this path okay i found that this particular path is non robust path okay so because there are uh, two uh, na, paths which are uh, na, right and uh, getting affected now this particular path okay i was interested in p2 path right but there is a, a p3 path also which is an uh, 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 coming here when i am testing p2 but when i suppose there is already an uh, robust path available for p3 and it has passed that test okay then even though p2 path is non robust can i say p2 is also you know, uh, fine if if p3 has passed then then i can you know, i can say with greater confidence that you know, a p2 is uh, working fine correct so that is what you know, this says okay so uh, so that is known as you know, a validatable non robust test okay 
why it is value although it is non robust okay the alternate path which is making it non robust that can be tested independently as a robust test okay so there is once we know okay there is no uh, so there there can't be a delay coming from here then i can say okay okay this is a you know, path which is working fine okay so that is what it says okay there could be certain you know, uh, untestable paths also right now for example uh, uh, this is uh, a uh, p2 of uh, a fall edge of uh, p2 uh, here uh, in this path okay p2 is uh, this particular path right and uh, uh, it says it, it is an uh, uh, untestable so now uh, let's check whether it is testable or uh, untestable so i give a zero here uh, i give an uh, no, uh, this thing falling edge out here it is an uh, falling edge out here <coughs> so uh, probably uh, i need to uh, give a, a one out here then i'll have an a uh, falling edge out here right so uh, this falling edge will uh, create an uh, rising edge out here so obviously uh, 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 this is falling this is rising uh, so this will uh, continue to uh, remain an uh, uh, one right so uh, this particular path is is an uh, uh, is not testable correct okay let me uh, put it again once again right i i want an uh, falling edge out here right so i put a, a zero here so i am getting an an f0 out here so uh, this will give me an, an uh, uh, r1 out here right and and i give a one here so that so that this comes here now if you see here this is this is an or gate uh, and this is making a transition out here so uh, this could be so th uh, this particular path you know we can say that it is uh, not uh, testable right so uh, in in stuck at fault sir yeah sir this uh, p2 path is non testable only for uh, falling, falling. Uh, test vector yeah for falling okay. for fall for falling for rising okay. we saw uh, uh, yeah, it for is rising it uh, we saw it is non robust but it is validatable right? yes yes uh, yeah for for yeah. p2 rising uh, it is a non robust test but it is valid Uh, it is it is not pure uh, non uh, robust we can validate it because we also saw that the this p3 is a robust test okay Since yes sir. so I agree, that, sir. that is that is the problem okay uh, okay thanks now we uh, like uh, if you remember uh, in our uh, 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 one uh, uh, important observation which we made uh, during our stuck at fault analysis was uh, in case there is an uh, stuck at a uh, fault is not detectable uh, what did it mean a redundant in circuit yeah correct exactly right uh, same thing is uh, here also right if say some path na you are not able to na uh, check at all that means there is an some kind of uh, na uh, na uh, redundant element out here now uh, if you uh, write this function k is right uh, uh, b or c right and, and there is an, an uh, inverter so so this is a, a function out here uh, this is the uh, uh, output and a function right and a or and uh, b or c right and this is an a uh, uh, b or c and there is a not out here so i can write b dash c dash now if i uh, simplify this and uh, i get this correct algebraic uh, simplification that means an uh, this path is not actually a redundant path i can uh, give uh, a out here right so again uh, when we uh, do this uh, 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 when we check for the path and we encounter that in some path we are not able to do the uh, test at all okay that means uh, it is redundant uh, right so there is a something is wrong with the circuit we can uh, find out that also okay so this is also helps in uh, finding out uh, uh, if there is some uh, gate which is redundant okay okay but uh, this doesn't mean it is redundant okay uh, no, non robust test doesn't uh, mean not redundant okay only if the total test failure okay there is no test vector at all available so in in such cases we can say uh, there is an uh, redundancy okay right now uh, sir uh, one second yeah so in some cases uh, we are saying like uh, s0 that is like static zero mm -hmm. and uh, static ones we are applying 
uh in some cases like initially it's like you so it's initially unknown and then becoming zero and then becoming one yes so i mean how to apply that uh, like or that depends on the first uh, table where we show like four gates uh, uh uh here right so uh, actually you know uh, we are relaxing the uh, constraints generally we'll, we will take it as an uh, static constraint you know uh, that would be uh, better although the text Uh, book says you could apply an an uh, uh, zero also uh, here right uh, one also uh, like you you could make an uh, uh, this transition also because an uh, uh, by the time uh, this comes here uh, this will get settled uh, to one right because there is an uh, two delay here so uh, rather than an uh, 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 imposing uh, uh, an an static one right because when you are uh, giving an a uh, set of vectors right uh, uh, just to uh, in because right if you see here right and uh, ultimately it is coming here after two gate delays so uh, i can uh, when i am making this transition okay uh, so so this can uh, instead of uh, putting it this as na uh, a uh, s1 okay uh, i can write it uh, here as na uh, u1 also right but we'll keep it simple we'll use an uh, uh, s1 out here okay okay sir sir one more yeah. one more uh, doubt sir hmm. ah. that uh, we are uh, propagating r1 so there will be no r0 because ri rising uh, zero will not be there no no similar yes uh, yes yeah uh, yeah correct f1 the, will not there are there. two edges okay the name given to these edges uh, this is given as r1 and uh, this is given as f0 okay sir okay it it is you can you can give just r and f also but uh, uh, they have used uh, that, that this, was that's why we are we are giving numbers so that that we are uh, adding yes, that one yes. okay uh, hello sir yeah uh, so uh, so in that can you go to slide 10 one yes So I think uh, means B is stuck at zero. That is the meaning of F zero. So that's why we are giving R one on that. So that's the test factor. No, 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 no. Um, B is not stuck at zero. I mean, this is not stuck at a thing or at all. This is the uh, if we give one transition here, okay? How much time is it taking for that transition to come at the output? That is what we are checking. Whether within one clock period. okay this transition is happening here or not this is this is like i said this is a delay testing okay okay right this is not uh, stuck at for the testing so but we are checking this on this b only like b we are giving f0 and then r1 yes uh, we are making a transition at uh, b right and uh, we are seeing that uh, that transition is getting affected at the output okay after a period t we'll sample this output after a time period t and see whether okay and now finally we are getting the desired result or not okay so obviously we are assuming there is no stuck at faults here already that test has been done now even if uh, even if the stuck at faults are not there there could be delays right more delays right so now we are checking about those uh, delay aspects okay and in the next slide you told that uh, uh, both j and h are uh toggling simultaneously yes so that can lead to longer delay that no uh, this could uh, uh, this ca this is known as ro non robust test right uh, in this case uh, what happens i gave an example i have to after a time t this has to be uh, one here okay after a time t but suppose there is a delay in this path and actually this is going one after the time period t but uh there is a alternate path here uh, here it is supposed to make zero uh, this is going this is also has got another delay and this is also going uh, uh, after uh, after the time period t in that case uh, uh, i may not be able to catch the fault because there are two two transitions happening here okay okay so that in that case i say okay uh, uh, although i am getting one here but uh, I can't be very very sure ki uh, 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 that this path doesn't have any fault. But then we say, okay, if But this path uh, in this path we are able to, if we are able to do a robust test, then we can say, okay, this is fine. That having problem that also it will not uh, affect our circuit. 
because we are testing robust part is yes. okay then yes. another part is a little problem then also will not affect our performance output will not affect yes uh, that is known as robust path correct sir right so uh, yeah, now we have in this in this particular uh, na, uh, case there are two transitions right so i can't be very very sure but this path is robust path when i am checking independently for this path okay i am able to check it independently correct this we saw right okay correct right. so p3 but sir we can't we do this thing like if uh, we are putting a at 0 then h will not toggle in that case ha huh, so that is what that and uh, yeah that exactly that is what we did right for for this part uh, so okay, this part we can right. say it is it is non na uh, uh, it is a robust path okay okay right. so that that is exactly we put zero here and we do a robust we, we are able to do this robust testing and if that is passed and then now this is passed okay this this, pa this test is passed and this test is passed then i can say but if this is also non robust then it becomes a problem reliability goes down okay so that okay okay thank you right okay so on this on this we saw this we saw right uh, here uh, there may be you know uh, combinational uh, uh, circuits which have whose delays cannot be uh, affect the time signal of the uh, these are known as false path okay uh, false path means you know, uh, like, like suppose uh, this particular you know, path again okay uh, this particular path this this is again oh, same thing this false path un, untestable path okay uh, here now uh, suppose i want to uh, uh, do an and uh, i have to check this particular path okay so i put an a uh, falling edge here but this falling edge uh, will put a, a zero here like this straight away right so uh, this path will never get tested because you know this falling edge will put a zero here and this will uh, push it to one here right similarly uh, from b here uh, this path okay so uh, this is also uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, this particular path also can never be uh, tested only this outer outer path can be tested actually this is an xor gate okay so so uh, here uh, this these two top top uh, uh, inside paths uh, cannot be tested okay so uh, so they, we can say there is an uh, a redundancy uh, in this particular uh, circuit also Uh, so there is an uh, uh, this is from a uh, no, uh, paper which has been referred in the textbook uh, so this is not important from exam point of view uh, but then uh, i'll just give you a brief idea see if we encounter uh, a redundancy uh, this particular paper uh, again it's by the same uh, author actually they are the authors of our uh, textbook also uh, in, in uh, this this they have not explained in the textbook but in their paper they have explained this that uh, how to go about uh, na finding uh, modifying the circuit to uh, remove uh, this kind of na uh, uh, redundancy okay uh, so this is the paper which uh, so they have made something known as uh, psg okay uh, their path status graph uh, in which uh, all the inputs outputs are uh, na shown in the circuit uh, gates with multiple fan outs are shown and gates with single fan out okay uh, are not uh, represented okay now if you see here uh, this is got an, a single fan out this is single fan out uh, this is single fan out so you remove all these gates uh, only uh, this particular gate has got two fan outs so only this is will be mentioned uh, this will be shown here right so so this is what uh, from here and uh, uh, this is known as the psc okay a uh, uh, psg stands for path status graph okay so uh, in this particular diagram all the gates uh, uh, right uh, this you don't find in the textbook you will find it only in this paper okay you can uh, if somebody is interested you could go that otherwise you know, for uh, for the course you could skip that okay so these two gates are not uh, shown here right so it is uh, a only this gate is shown one uh, and this is the output okay so these gates are not shown uh, here now uh, if you see here and uh, there is a path like this there is a path like this there is a path like this and there is a path there are actually you uh, know uh, there are uh, from one if you see there are actually four different uh, paths okay so from here to here uh, all the four different paths are uh, uh, shown in a, a different manner okay so so it, it is split here so right so so this is again it is split here and and this one now you are one bar you know one you it is shown uh, out here 
it is split into uh, two out here and again from here you are uh, mapping back the uh, circuit okay now after having split so these two gates have uh, come as uh, two gates out here now uh, having uh, made this okay then uh, we do an a normal uh, stuck at fault analysis okay once we do the stuck at fault analysis we find that uh, these two nodes are uh, redundant okay these two uh, uh, nodes and uh, you can't find the uh, 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 fault at these two nodes okay when you do the stuck at fault and hence it can be uh, removed okay so so these nand gates will actually uh, become if you remove those it will become inverter so this particular circuit is xor and this is also an xor right so uh, in this particular paper they have uh, given a, a methodology of uh, if you encounter uh, such paths uh, which are not testable then how to modify the circuit okay uh, to get a uh, uh, to uh, remove the redundancy and get an uh, circuit uh, here if you see here uh, uh, in all the paths you could do a delay testing okay so this is one example which has been uh, given that paper so if somebody is keen you could uh, refer to that paper and uh, uh, i think uh, they'll give uh, a more detailed explanation and few more examples are probably uh, given in that paper okay so that is there uh, sir one doubt hmm. so the first step that you said was uh, when a is a falling uh, zero uh, automatically uh, at two input it comes as zero so why is it there also a falling zero like uh -huh. here pardon no when this is falling right so uh, yes. even if there is some uh, delay here okay since it is going to zero this is an, an and gate this will go to one here okay right okay, so so uh, this zero a right, falling edge out here this zero is available here so irrespective of what is happening here right this will uh, trigger a one at the output so so this path delay cannot be tested okay, but that zero will also have some delay right that Which from zero? the falling edge the here? top yeah yeah, yeah so yes. this path can be tested this particular path uh, uh, cannot be tested Okay. The bottom so. path na, from here cannot be tested because this input is directly available here and uh, this will dominate it without any delays coming here. So, so that's what uh, this from uh, A, if you see here, A1, 2, 4, X, this cannot be na, uh, identified. This, so suppose then there is an, uh, na, during fabrication, there is uh, one big capacitor has got uh, erroneously fabricated here. And, and there is a delay in this part. So that cannot be uh, tested actually. So that is that. Okay, sir. Understood. Thank you. Uh, so uh, here it says, okay, uh, another it uh, goes on to say, uh, right, uh, if, if there is an, uh, a single untestable uh, uh, path, uh, that is not necessarily a false path okay so uh, many a times a uh, single uh, if you find uh, this particular uh, path is not testable right then uh, there could be uh, one path which is untestable another path which is untestable but uh, in the overall uh, scheme if you consider an, an a multiple stuck at faults right so that path and this path simultaneously uh, there could be a test vector uh, which can uh, test those faults okay so uh, obviously that will be a non robust test okay so um, many a times a uh, single untestable faults okay uh, need not be a false path there is a possibility okay there is a possibility that those single test paths uh, uh, we can apply a multiple test uh, 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 it is uh, we uh, there are cases when we are be able to do, uh, sensitize them uh, together okay because if you are uh, trying to uh, push only in that path that condition um, uh, 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 may, we may not be able to meet but if we relax the condition and and try to understand and uh, try to incorporate the other faults and have to have a, and and if you uh, plan to do a non robust uh, uh, testing then there could be some solutions okay uh, for that right so uh, obviously that is uh, catering for uh, multiple uh, faults at one go right so uh, that that aspect and uh, we will not uh, get into uh, details because it will become a multiple uh, test uh, testing is going to be little uh, complex in nature so uh, so just for your information that such and such thing uh, can also be done right so fault is now uh, 
like unlike a path delay okay here uh, unlike an, a path delay a transition is uh, for each of the wires okay so i say okay what is the transition delay of of, of this wire or uh, at at this wire so each of the wires okay so i am not taking the entire path in one go okay i will take about uh, this this so uh, for like each wire i have it stuck at zero fault and a stuck at one fault right similar thing for each path uh, for each uh, wire okay uh, for each net uh, i will have an na uh, rise time uh, delay and an uh, fall time uh, delay right so accordingly that test vector will be uh, placed there right and then again you justify that towards the output okay so unlike one full path is considered okay in 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 uh, uh, in transition faults okay each net okay so uh, is is tested okay so uh, the only thing is again uh, it, it is like you need to create a test vector for each of those nets and then you have to and uh, again uh, try to uh, get it to the primary uh, output okay so this is uh, the only thing is the algorithm is slightly you know, uh, you know, uh, faster and uh, simpler and the total number of you know, uh, faults is upper bound is twice the number of lines like like for stuck at faults uh, we had twice the number of lines similarly for uh, here also for each of those uh, lines we'll have an uh, you know, a rise time fault or a uh, you know, fall time uh, fault so each of them have needs to be analyzed accordingly uh, so that is there so uh, uh, only thing is the algorithm is uh, very very uh, similar to the stuck at fault uh, na faults okay uh, unlike in the path where na uh, we uh, we try to uh, propagate that full path we take the full path in one go uh, here it is something very very uh, similar to the stuck at fault okay so that is a small uh, advantage okay but uh, otherwise it it is always the uh, path only uh, which is generally uh, used okay so uh, now uh, for the path uh, there are several uh, uh, methodologies okay so depending on the uh, type of circuit okay so there could be different types of circuits so for the first type of uh, circuits uh, where in the input side you have some latches uh, and at the output side uh, you have some uh, latches okay so uh, how to test okay so first what is done is like like if the uh, uh, it is done uh, using a, a slow clock okay uh, slow clock means the uh, clock uh, being given here uh, and uh, uh, here okay now uh, will be slower than the normal uh, functioning clock okay the uh, reason uh, uh, we will uh, discuss here now uh, now now suppose here uh, this is the first uh, clock uh, which has been uh, given uh, here right so some uh, test vectors were available here okay so that will get latched okay that is so the first uh, kind of uh, test vector is available right you will allow that test vector uh, uh, to get settled the combinational logic okay so you wa wait for an a uh, certain a uh, 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 period out here right uh, and uh, uh, after you uh, wait for a certain uh, period out here right because uh, that it, it you will allow this combinational logic to compute and and the result is uh, available here so uh, and then uh, i give the uh, ne next test vectors and i uh, give the uh, no, uh, test signal again here clock signal so this test vector will now be uh, captured here so an input transition whatever is the transition is occurring here right and and from from this edge okay uh, till this edge when the output uh, will be uh, no, captured so this will be the actual uh, uh, nominal uh no rated clock at the nominal clock so it will be captured here so uh, within this period the data needs to uh, no, uh, be uh, settled okay and meet the timing constraint this time then i can say okay uh, this doesn't have any uh, delay whereas uh, uh, this clock period and and this clock period if you see here okay uh, they are more than the function uh, rated clock only from here to here rising edge of the input uh, to the rising edge of the test clock okay uh, this this comes as per the rated clock period so uh, if you ensure uh, this and uh, otherwise you are uh, uh, initially itself you are uh, allowing the first test vector to uh, settle down so you are giving you uh, know more time for that test vector to get uh, settled okay so uh, only when i am giving the second test vector 
because I do not want that error to come, right? Because uh, initially also if that test vector itself is not getting settled, then uh, uh, then it will uh, induce an error, right? I am check for because each path will have an uh, set of two test vectors. The first test vector has to be uh, settled and only then you give the second test vector. So, you use a slower path and, and you give uh, more time for the first test vector to get settled and you once you apply the second test vector at the output latch uh, the positive at the, the time you are capturing that data okay from here to here uh, it is the rated clock so now here uh, first uh, test vector one uh, two was applied here uh, one was already computed and done done and now how much time does it uh, change uh, for the output to get correctly rep so so this is known as the slow call uh, slow clock uh, combinational testing uh, is this uh, okay with all of you Right. What is like, the purpose of using uh, slow? Yeah. Tell me, Rahul. So can you just repeat this once? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Right. See, when you uh, 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 when when you are uh, doing uh, uh, combinational uh, testing, uh, I am suppose I am uh, 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 giving uh, uh, V one first. Right. After time period t, uh, I am uh, giving uh, V two. Correct. And again, after a time period t, clock period, I am checking the output, right? Correct. Now, uh, suppose uh, the time uh, there is a delay in computing uh, v one itself. Correct. If there is a time in computing uh, v one itself, right? Then uh, the test which I am uh, doing, okay, uh, is not actually corresponding to the path which I am looking at it. Right for a uh, like like for uh, uh, here, when we uh, said uh, uh, I am I am giving this test vector first. Right, w one test vector we said we are giving zero one zero. So this zero one zero test vector uh, has to be fully settled here, and then I give this test vector and see after one clock period whether this is coming here or not. Correct, but uh, between these two test vectors, if I don't give adequate time. There is a possibility that this is not a. There is a, you know, a fault at this you know, particular in computing this particular vector itself, right? Then the result. So I am uh, actually, if I have, I have to focus on down of P3, correct? Or uh, fault time of this P3 path. This test vector has to be you know, uh, settled properly. Uh, is it okay, Rahul? Yes, sir. Right. My I I have to find out this particular path, correct? Fall time. So I have to give adequate time. So actual my test vector is this. And this is only the initialization vector. This is the from here to here it is making a transition. So so when I am applying this particular transition V2 from here to one clock period, okay, that is critical. Right, but if I uh, no, uh, uh, don't give adequate time for V1 to get settled. Right, I can give one clock period. It will settle provided there is no fault, uh, some other faults. But that will again, you know, come. So I, if I try to give more time here, then only, you uh, know, I can, you uh, know, for sure, you know, uh, say, uh, I am looking at this particular path and and the test results are proper. Okay, so that is the reason uh, we use an a slower uh, clock out here. Here. Right. First, we give the test vector uh, one here. Okay. Uh, the moment we are giving here, this is the total time uh, available for V one to get settled. Okay. There is lot of time uh, available. Right. It, this is not the uh, rated clock. So, if you see, this is the rated clock. So, you find that the test clock period for V one to get settled. Okay. This is only for V one. We are not allow giving that much time after V two. Okay. After V two. We are capturing the data here. Okay, that we are capturing uh, after a time t. Uh, is it okay with all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. So, so yes, sir. This, this is known as a slow clock combinational test. Okay. So uh, this is possible only for such kind of circuits. Okay. So if the circuit topology changes, now uh, here there is an uh, enhanced scan test. Okay. Now uh, here this is actually a pipeline structure. Uh, and we have you know, a scan flip flops. Uh, uh, actually, the organization of uh, this uh, particular uh, topic is slightly heavy. 
uh, because we will be talking about uh, a scan flip flop in the next class okay uh, but from in the vlsi class uh, we got a brief idea about what a scan flip flop is there is an, a combinational flip flop right a pipeline structure then you will have an uh, 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 flip flop the output will be uh, to a flip flop right that flip flop uh, 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 is again given back to the combinational circuit right so uh, this is a pipeline structure but we are able to uh, 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 put uh, 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 these are known as a scan flip flop that means we are able to uh, push in uh, 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 the test vectors uh, directly into the uh, flip flops through a scan input okay so uh, this, this is a, actually a uh, flip flop okay uh, normally the combinational data from the combinational logic will come to the flip flop okay and when uh, tc is equal to uh, 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 zero okay when tc is equal to zero this is an active low signal uh, i can put an uh, uh, scan data also scan data is nothing but and scan in data also into these flip flops okay so uh, serially this data can be pushed in so uh, what is done here uh, initially uh, tc is low okay we will see the uh, internal circuit of this sff in the next class okay so uh, uh, i'll just give a brief idea about this and and probably uh, after the next class we'll uh, revisit this uh, slide then it will be clear uh, so uh, initially uh, tc is uh, given a zero so when tc is equal to zero it works in the scan mode uh, scan mode means these flip flops there will be several flip flops uh, all these flip flops will be connected in a series manner and uh, through an uh, scan in input the required data can be uh, given into the uh, scan flip flops okay so there are, there will be uh, several flip flops in the circuit there is a combinational block combinational block combinational block there are uh, flip flops uh, when tc is equal to 0 okay i can put scan in data into the first flip flop this output of the first flip flop generally goes to the combinational logic but in in the scan mode it will go to the next flip flop and this next flip flop output will be available to the next flip flop so all the combinational blocks will be bypassed and through a scan in input okay with tc is equal to 0 so i can pump in whatever information i want into all these flip flops okay so test vector uh, v1 okay the first test vector okay we require a set of two test vectors v1 and v2 through scan in function we will put it into all these things okay all uh, these test vectors okay now it is available uh, once it is available now i have to activate the combinational circuit okay so there is uh, something known as hold latch okay now the hold signal will go high once all this data gets into the uh, uh, scan in flip flop i give a hold signal high the moment hold signal uh, i comes in right v1 uh, uh, test vector is applied to the combinational test vector and then again uh, uh, you wait for some time for v1 to get settled okay so this will uh, compute v1 right once it is uh, v1 gets uh, uh, settled okay uh, <coughs> at, at that time uh, uh, again uh, the moment this whole signal uh, uh, it's a small pulse okay so this data is captured here this is computing v1 okay Parallelly, I can put you know, uh, you know, the next data, next set of vectors into uh, these flip flops, right? When once this is computing output of V1, doesn't matter, right? This is flip flops. So, so uh, this is again the moment I put a you know, TC signal low, okay? Again, this goes into the scan mode, okay? So that this inputs from these flip flop from this combinational log logic is not taken when TC is equal to zero. Scan in input is taken. So V2 test vector will be uh, pushed here. Okay, now V2 test vector will be uh, pushed here. Now, once V2 test vector is uh, pushed here, again I give the hold signal, right? And when I uh, give the uh, hold signal, this new test vector uh, will come here, right? So, it will start computing that, right, from here. Now, after the uh, once this new test vector is uh, done, uh, in the next, then uh, uh, TC is kept in, in the uh, uh, normal mode, okay? So, TC, TC, when the TC signal hold goes high, TC goes high. So, this is in the normal mode. In the normal mode, it will be able to capture the data from the combinational circuit. These are flip flops, right? From here, this data will. So, in the next clock, this data will be captured in the uh, flip flops. And once this data is captured in the uh, flip flops, again, you put it back into scan mode. So, again, all these flip flops will capture the data of the combinational logic. 
and then in the scan mode serially all this data will be uh, no, uh, again uh, picked up at the output okay so in in, in one go all the combinational logics uh, 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 will be applied with uh, a set of test vectors uh, results will be captured by their corresponding uh, flip flops and then again uh, uh, after that uh, capturing the data in the flip flops these flip flops will be again connected in uh, series okay so that connection of these flip flops in in series mode is done during the scan function and during the normal function the output of the combinational blocks will be uh, 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 given to these flip flops and then uh, since all these data are captured then uh, you connect back in the test uh, and then you keep giving clock all the data will be uh, scanned out so there is only uh, uh, one scan in pin and one scan out pin for all these flip flops okay so there will be constraint in the pin also right so so that is how uh, this data uh, 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 this test is done uh, is it okay so let me uh, explain you uh, once again so that right so uh, first uh, when tc is equal to 0 okay when tc is equal to 0 uh, these uh, flip flops okay they don't take input from combinational logic okay when tc is equal to 0 okay it is active low it is known as test condition but since it is active low when it is low okay it doesn't take input from the combinational logic instead all these flip flops are uh, connected in series okay so we, since it is connected in series i given a uh, scan in okay that is from external uh, vector i am giving it scan in so with each clock this data will come here so only two flip flops are show, shown here but you know, there could be several flip flops right combinational logic flip flop combinational logic flip flop combinational logic in between there this is how the pipeline structure so this is connected here this output is connected here in the scan mode so i give a scan in data and i keep pushing all the test vectors is that much understood how to load a v1 test vector here is it okay with all of you yes sir okay so now once all the test vector is available here okay for in all the flip flops okay uh, this output of the test uh, no, uh, flip flop is not connected to the combinational block but there is a hold latch so i given a hold signal high okay for a short duration so that will you know, whatever data is available here that will be captured here that will be captured here so once the hold signal goes here so the v1 start it starts uh, computing the value of the v1 okay so all those values will be available here right but that value is not important to us okay uh, whatever is coming here so i put this again back into the you know, uh, scan mode okay by putting tc0 and i put the second test set of test vectors now once all the second test vectors are put here okay again i put this two signals uh, uh, again i put an hold signal high so the new test signals will be available here now v1 was already there now v2 is available here now all these outputs will start Na, uh, getting so from this time this signal has uh, the second time the hold signal has gone high okay now if you see here clock period this is matched with the clock period at this clock period this data will be available here right so this tc na, uh, signal uh, has to remain uh, tc goes high when the hold is going high this uh, second test vector is captured here and tc is also going high that means it has come into normal mode of operation and till this edge it will remain in normal mode so within this period okay uh, it it has to compute and get captured is this constraint clear this much constraint this has to be one clock period this you know this has to be one clock period right so this is in the within the next uh, clock period now uh, when the next clock comes it uh, because this is in the normal mode so when the no next clock comes that data will be uh, captured here right this cannot be large because otherwise it will capture the uh, it will capture data here the second clock period we can't do that we, we should allow only one clock period from here to here so that next clock period data is captured in all these flip flops okay the moment that data is captured here i put back this into scan mode the moment i put scan mode okay all these connections are removed from the combinational block again all these things get connected in series right 
and then uh, since it is connected in series i keep doing that shift operation okay from here to here so all the data i will scan out and then check okay what was the result here 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 whether it is functioning or not uh, is it okay with all of you yeah uh, gokhale rahul is it okay yes sir okay yes sir okay so now uh, we have a normal uh, uh, from here to here uh, the the difference is uh, here we have a scan flip flop and a, a hold logic uh, here we just have an uh, we don't have that and uh, uh, hold okay we just have a uh, scan flip flop out here right uh, in this again and uh, it, it, it's a uh, uh, similar thing only uh, we uh, scan in okay uh, we uh, generate all the uh, 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 we put uh, tc is equal to low uh, and then uh, we scan in all the uh, uh, data out here right uh, and then uh, no, the <coughs> uh, uh, from uh, here first the uh, no, uh, it, it's a slow clock right so so the first no, uh, so this once the scan data is no, uh, given uh, uh, here okay then you uh, no, uh, activate the clock okay once so this uh, output is uh, available here right so actually when we are uh, uh, scanning uh, in and uh, it will all be uh, available in the uh, master okay uh, ma it's they are all uh, master slave flip flops and when the clock goes high here they will be uh, reflected in the uh, slave flip flop okay uh, so you have a uh, clock at where v1 will be applied then again in all the masters okay uh, you will uh, scan in okay so uh, uh, it, it may not uh, appear very very it, it is you don't have a separate logic uh, hl in fact it is a master slave flip flop okay and you will be able to uh, push data uh, into the master flip flops okay uh, separately uh, and, and that is uh, done here and then in the clock it, it gets activated out here right and uh, so that is the only uh, difference out here you have the uh, no, uh, uh, second uh, set of uh, vector which is uh, given here and and then uh, uh, you give the uh, same thing you, you give a clock period and after the next clock uh, no, you put tc is equal to again uh, you put it into the normal mode and get it back into the uh, scan mode okay so i'll uh, revisit this probably these two uh, slides you know, uh, because uh, i i can understand that you might face some difficulty in understanding these two slides uh, essentially because we have not yet covered the functioning of sff so this i'll be uh, covering in the next class when we uh, talk about uh, you know, design for testability okay uh, so we'll uh, talk about how, how the internal structure of an sff uh, and and uh, 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 whole latch and ssf then this function will be clear okay uh, timing uh, uh, just uh, uh, understand that uh, what is uh, being done is you uh, uh, in these flip flops you are uh, pushing in uh, a, a test vector first test vector and then you activate the combinational circuit it will compute the outputs but that outputs we don't have to capture that then you put the second test vector and and uh, and then you activate it okay the, and and when you are activating from that time onwards in the next clock you have to capture the data from the uh, combinational circuit in these uh, into these flip flops and then you do a scan out operation okay so this scan in and scan out will be uh, uh, absolutely clear to you uh, after the next class okay so uh, we will revisit these slides after the next class okay uh, and this is the and uh, uh, last uh, uh, slide uh, on which variable clock uh, 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 slow clock non scan sequential so it, it, it is an uh, a non uh, 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 scan uh, so there, it, it is not a uh, uh, scanned type okay so you have these uh, 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 flip flops here it is a sequential circuit right sequential circuit means you know, there are uh, flip flops in uh, between but they are not interconnected like in in a dft structure and so there is no uh, test signal and connecting them in series okay it is, it is normal sequential circuit so like in sequential circuit uh, now uh, what happened in the sequential circuits if you saw uh, we need to uh, have certain number of uh, 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 test vectors to load the uh, sequential circuits you know, with some data like if you when we learnt about uh, testing of the sequential circuit now uh, what we do we do uh, we went by the time frame method right where where uh, previously the combination suppose this is a combinational circuit okay there are uh, 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 some 
<coughs> yeah, inputs which are uh, coming directly, some could be coming from uh, uh, other flip flops, right? So, those uh, flip flops uh, need to be uh, uh, some initial vectors uh, needs to be put there, right? And just one second. Hello? Yeah, tell me. Uh, pardon? Ah, uh -huh, bolo, bolo. 130, na? हाँ यहाँ पे आजा 120 तक आजा 130 निकल जाएंगे हम लोग मैं रहूँगा 120 नीचे रहूँगा ओके हाँ 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 जाना प्रिया जाना प्रिया हाँ क्या चीज हाँ नहीं बी ब्लॉक के पास आप आ, नीचे आ जाओ एंट्री करने की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट बी ब्लॉक के पास अंदर आके वेट करके मेरे को कॉल कर दो मैं आ जाऊंगा नीचे आ जाऊंगा बी बी हाँ मेन गेट से बी फॉर बॉम्बे मेन गेट से घुसते ही लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में ही है हाँ 1:15 को मेरे को कॉल कर दो मैं नीचे आ जाऊंगा राइट ओके सो Okay, uh, sorry for that. Uh, actually, I had to go to the Goa campus uh, just after this class, uh, so that you know, guys are uh, <coughs> calling up for uh, tying up various things. Okay. So, are you in Goa, sir? No, no. I am in. I'm just uh, after this class, I'll uh, move uh, today. You got okay. a uh, flight at four o'clock, sir. Uh, so. Uh, so this is what uh, uh, what it does is uh, 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 we have to preload the flip flops okay so the uh, preloading operation is done at a uh, slow clock okay uh, once that uh, 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 all the uh, you understand what is preload right we saw in the combinational circuits also when we apply a test vector we have to uh, 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 preload the flip flops with some initial condition right for each of the uh, the uh, uh, condition so so something similar is done here uh, the preloaded is done with a uh, slow clock okay and then uh, it is there uh, now you wait for a uh, one clock period a rated clock period to capture the data in the next uh, flip flop okay right F wherever there is a delay so if this if this is the path which is being uh, tested then you give the rated clock and you ca you know, capture this in the d flip flop okay again you uh, resort to slow clock because what happens is uh, any delay uh, here and uh, here because now my focus is only this path okay so i don't want uh, delays in, in in during this period and this period uh, to adversely affect my uh, results right so only during uh, this particular path i'll give the rated clock and uh, here and here i am going to give a uh, slower clock okay so uh, this is uh, 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 one method uh, and i think uh, we, the final thing is a rated clock okay you could give uh, 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 in the scan mode we can give a rotated uh, 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 in the non scan mode we can give an uh, 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 rated clock also but then uh, uh, it will speed up the operation of the test but then uh, the problem out here in this uh, is that uh, there could be uh, many many and uh, uh, if there are uh, faults here or uh, here right so it could uh, induce uh, uh, additional uh, faults okay so so the, the it is not very very uh, reliable but then uh, you could, it will speed up the test procedure okay but before uh, but still we do a uh, rated clock uh, uh, sequential testing uh, because generally there won't be multiple faults okay right so it, it it is expected that there will be one not fault here and there and 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 a, a, a fault here and here and here uh, is something which is not expected right uh, why we, why don't we expect that because uh, during the uh, before fabrication itself uh, we do lot of you know, uh, timing analysis right we do st analysis right in the st analysis we saw that we uh, do the worst case analysis also we saw that uh, we do take an uh, ocv variations into consideration right so so uh, tools like in prime time we do the timing simulations critical path uh, uh, test uh, layout optimization since we are uh, doing an uh, in-depth static analysis uh, prior to fabrication itself so we can expect that post fabrication there won't be uh, multiple faults okay 
and hence uh, there is uh, actually no issue in uh, doing an uh, no, non sequential no, uh, non scan no, fast testing also here so we don't have to resort to slow clocks okay so you can do an uh, fast clock and and uh, in, uh, do away with the uh, time uh, uh, requirement and uh, do an uh, uh, you can uh, finish off the test within the within uh, a given uh, time okay you can minimize the time requirement so that is known as a uh, rated non sequential uh, uh, rated clock non sequential uh, test okay uh, so uh, with this uh, i will uh, stop it out here uh, in the next class uh, uh, we will uh, start with a slightly more uh, interesting topic which is known as uh, uh, design for testability